Hey there folks, this is GreenXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. This is episode 3. What we're doing today is making our way over towards Egros Castle. But to get there, we need to go through Mandalia Plain. Something to tell you about Mandalia Plain is the first place where you can sort of start level grinding. You can't do it anywhere else yet. So, once you beat that level that we're going to do now, that battle, then you can just keep on going back and forth between these two places and level up like that. You know, keeping on having random encounters at the plane. So, let's get started. Oh, wait there, before we can move. <laughs> I forgot about this. Babanath Beolf. That's, you know, where Ramza Beolf. A great hero, hero in his own right, who had attained the distinguished title of Knight Gallant, approaches the hour of his death. Our father's dying. In the waning days of the Fifty Years' War. Okay. What news of... of the war? The order has struck a great blow. Limbri is ours once more. We will be able to recall our forces in Zeltania Annan. All goes as planned. Lord Father, be not troubled. Um, all the characters by you are going to be important. Except for our dying father, really. <laughs> in the long run. The envoy dispatched to Advocate Lenario has returned. He's agreed to your proposal, Lord Father. Good, very good. Then the war will die with me. Well, <laughs> there now, Alma. Do you want my my last memory to be of your tears? Where's that Ramza? He should be here at your side. That's Dag Zalbag. You're dear to me, but Ramza is no less so. Though he be not the issue of the womb that bore you, my sons, still my blood courses his veins. Watch after him. So he's got a different mother. That's all. Whoop. Old father. You forget yourself, Ramza. You've come. Good. Let me look at... <laughs> look once more on your face. It's such awkward things to read, to talk, to say. That's the word. Lord Father, how long has it been? You've grown into a fine young man. I would hear of your studies. You've been at the academy since... since spring, is it? Ah. Hear me, Ramza. For generations, we be have stood foremost of those who serve the crown. Ours is the soul of the night. Become a knight worthy of your name. Tolerate no injustice. Stray not from the true path. You will know the path you must walk. A Beolf can, can work no, walk no other. I will not fail you, father. Your friend Delida, he's a good boy. He's a lowborn, but he can serve you well. I've made arrangements for him to enter the academy. You should have seen the look on the headmaster's face. A lowborn going to an academy. Well a day. In the years ahead, you will need someone whom you can trust. You could do far worse than Delida. Yeah, we can trust Delida. As as you say, Father. Take care of your sister. And show these brothers of yours what it is. What it is to be a knight. Oh no. And this is death. Okay, I'm back. So, let's make a start on the battle, shall we? I also set abilities on each of the characters, uh, learnt like Defend and Phoenix Down and a couple of other things with everyone who could learn them. Because they're going to be, you know, staple moves that we use throughout the game, I think. Okay, battle time! These battles can take a while, even these little random battles. And this is an important battle, even if it doesn't seem it. Even if it's just a little dungeon outside. Okay, positions four. So we can have four characters. Gorav Ramza. Right. Delita is going to be a fifth, but we obviously can't choose him or anything. We're never going to be using Bertrand or Aleth. I could give it one, I suppose. Should I? What if they die? Ben. And chuck Jonathan in. I want to put the two chemists in so we can change them to a different job as quickly as possible. And I'm going to leave the knight out because we haven't got the best equipment for knights yet. Ramsay is a knight, so we're going to have to watch out for that. So. Here we go! Mandalia Plain. It's quite a nice place, actually. Okay, the loading time wasn't as long as I thought, actually. This is actually somewhere where I got stuck 
my first time through the game, which is shocking. Shocking. Looks like this one's still alive. What do we do with him? Oh no, they're gonna kill him. He looks run up, Knave, if ever you had any. But who is he? Ooh, blast when the orders patrols. Corpse Brigade, and they've a hostage in their midst. Okay, here's where we have a choice. We can either rescue the captive. If we do that, then he mustn't die, or it's game over. Or, we can just choose to defeat every enemy, and if he dies, it doesn't really matter, as long as it doesn't go three turns. If it can go three turns, I can't quite remember. But we're going to rescue him anyway. We're going to make it a bit tougher on ourselves. To do less would be unbecoming of men of the order. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Look out, because he can run into battle a bit too much. Argath. I'm sure he was called something else. Argus with Ness in the PS1 version, I think. I might be wrong with it. Again, Delata, we can't control him. Stone. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a waste. Reinforcements, and none too soon. Okay. Let's see what he does, shall we? Decent damage, anyway, so it's worth having him there. He's only level 2 and he's a squire. Why didn't he move? He could have got out the way of all this. What a dick. Oh, well. Notice those characters with the funny hats on and everything. They are thieves. They can steal equipment. They are evil little turds. So yeah, look out. That foxy thing by there. I think he can blind you. I think it's the first time we can be put in darkness. Yeah, I think it is. Let's get him a bit closer. Again, he's a knight, so he hasn't got the best equipment at the moment, but... Sacrifice each... Oh, no, never mind now. Get everyone out here. What can you do? Stone. Okay. Because <laughs> he was defending it, did billion damage. It doesn't do much anyway, but even less. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about. Do you think I should speed up the enemy turns? I probably did it in episode 2, I don't know yet. I'm not entirely certain. But if I speed up the enemy turns, then I can't commentate at the same time, because I'm not doing post commentary. Yeah, well, it's up to you. Give me a shout about it. I wish I could have healed Argus there, but we couldn't. Run away, you twat. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to end up dead now. See, see, why? Okay, maybe not then. If we're lucky, anyway. Wait there, I want to have a look sec. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck him... Ah, oh, we've already moved, I can't... I can't change my mind now. Okay, well. Rams again level... Good. Our main character's level 2. This are we. Okay, I'm going to chuck you by here. And what's she going to do? Obviously, she's going to heal up Argus. That feels weird to say, it's sort of like saying Aerith. No, no, it's just Aerith. I don't care. <laughs> I'm glad we got a helium in time then. Hopefully you won't die before the next turn. You don't want... I mean, you want to try and get as many attacks in with your characters, not the guest characters. Because you never know when one of them is going to leave. You know, that's what a guest character means. They're not going to be with you forever. Okay, you have to admit. Sorted. If, yeah, he's our archer, and it's just we haven't got. There wasn't a shop that sold archery things, so. Wasn't much we could do. Oh, good flip! Nice! That's what it means when the camera goes a bit quick. Okay. It was a long load time for Claw, wasn't it, from that freak? 
Oh, I just noticed, yeah, he's got counter. He's got a counter ability on, so whenever we physically attack him, he's going to counter attack with an attack of his own, but it's not that powerful, at least at this moment, from that enemy. The bosses are more than likely going to have that ability too, at some point. Once we actually reach a boss, we haven't fought one yet, have we? No, whatever. I don't know if I should heal or... No, I'm not going to bother healing. I mean, there's only three enemies and we'll get rid of them pretty quick, I think. Go on, Delta. You do some damage. So did. Is that evil get dead? Try and get rid of the thief. I'm not sure if he'll do enough damage. Maybe just below. Yeah. Three health left. Oh, nice. Our archer leveled up. <laughs> I keep calling him an archer. Um, yeah, she can't reach, she can't reach the other. Wait, did she have stone? Oh, she did, we could have killed him off. Never mind. Never mind. She's not doing a huge amount of damage. Even though I think she has the mythical knife on. Still not. So, okay, just one more. I can't believe I ever had trouble with this battle. So easy now. Good, I suppose. <laughs> right, I'm not sure if she has stone though. I know the other one did. Yeah, she does. It's not going to kill him. Of course, but it's not going to. Yeah, Delta's going to. Is he? Yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if he had stone for a sec. I remember he did though earlier, because he missed. Sorted! Okay, there's going to be a bit of plot now. Argeth is going to turn into a big character, even though right now he's, you know, just somebody we incidentally met. The Marquis? The Marquis Amdor de Limbri was here? Oh yes. The very same. And to whom do I owe my gratitude? We had next apprentice from the Academy at Garland. Garland. Garland? <laughs> Final Fantasy 9, eh? We may be able to help you, but first I would hear more. Okay, sorted. And we chose the harder option as well, so I'm quite happy. I think you have better reward for doing a harder thingy. Two potions and 700 gil. Not exactly huge, but, you know. My name is Argath, a knight in His Excellency, the Marquis Amdor de Limbri's household. You're not very powerful for a knight to <laughs> protect in someone as big as that. A knight, you say? Well, truth to be told, I'm a knight apprentice. Ah, uh, makes sense now. As are you, if I'm not mistaken. A fellow knight in training, then. I am Ramza Beolf, and this is Delata Hyrule, my trusted friend. I'm not certain how to pronounce these names. <laughs> I don't know. Beolf? You're not of the Beolfs of the Order of the Northern Sky, are you? Oh, fantastic luck! A blessing in the midst of disaster! What? The Order can help me rescue the Marquis. It must. Marquis has helped. Captive? They took him hostage, yes. But he still lives. He must act quickly if he is to remain so. Should he be killed, I'll lose everything. Oh no. You simply must help me. Please, I beg you. Calm yourself. Who's to say Marquis is to be killed anyway? The Corpse Brigade would not take a man alive save they were valuing keeping him so. Of that you can be sure. So if they're going to be like a hostage or something, I suppose. This little the three of us can do to help in any case. If the Marquis was taken hostage, Egros would be in an uproar. You can be sure of that too. And before all else, we will report to Egros. Are we agreed? Sure. We were going there anyway, so we might as well. Agreed, we'll start there. Right. I want to go back to the square side just in case there was... <laughs> there is a bit more here. Yeah. I thought so. I really can't remember this bit. Okay. Did you notice? Notice what? How am I supposed to notice if you don't tell me what uh, I'm supposed to look at? The menu, you Claude. Take a glimpse. There's some new words on it. Melee and rendezvous. Oh, this bit was added to the PSP version. I do remember now. Um... It's just going to tell us that there's a few new options in the pubs, in the taverns. Melee battles are for sparring. You can actually play multiplayer on this game now, which you couldn't on the PS1 version. You just have to two, have two PSPs and two copies of the game and you can play multiplayer. 
friendly challenges too. No worries again left to the bones. How about the other one? Rendezvous? Well, sometimes people look to hire two groups of adventurers for a job. That's how you meet up with the other one. Ah, so you've worked together with another colleague. Eh? Not so sure as I could do that. Right, okay. So... It's the only way to get certain pieces of equipment in the game. But... I've never... I tried it once. I can remember trying it once. But it, it never... It never sucked me in, kind of thing. My lord? We're not a lord. Yeah, I guess we are a lord. Because we're from the Beal family. The greatest knights in the world. Or something like that. <laughs> so, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when we head towards Egros and I'll have had five battles in the in the plains we just came from. Um wait a sec, I do wanna check if we can change jobs now. They didn't job level up at all in that battle, did they? Never mind. Never mind. Oh wait. Oh yeah, he could be an archer anyway, never mind. Knight. Nope. No. Sorted. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. There's only been a short one, and not a whole lot has happened story-wise, but enough for us to gain a new character that Largeth. I'll see you again in a bit, folks.